Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Our topic today is energy changes in physical and chemical processes. I want us to go through the chapter objectives first. Our first chapter objective, by the end of this chapter, you should be able to define endothermic and exothermic reactions. Our second objective is that by the end of this chapter also, you should be able to draw the energy level and energy cycle diagrams. Then our objective number three should be able to explain fusion and vaporization in respect to interparticle forces. Our objective number four should be able to explain energy changes in chemical reactions due to board breaking and board formation. Our fifth objective is define and explain the various types of heat changes. Our sixth objective, you should be able to carry out some experiments to determine enthalpy changes for some reactions. Our seventh objective you should be able to write correct simple thermochemical equations.
So that is our seventh objective. You should be able to write simple thermochemical equations. Then our eighth objective should be able to state Hess law and carry out related calculations. So state his law and carry out related calculations because there are various calculations which are involved in his law. Then our ninth objective should be able to state and explain the factors that influence the choice of a fuel. So state and explain the various factors that influence the choice of a fuel. And our last objective will be explain the environmental effects of fuels. So explaining the environmental effects of fuels. So those are our chapter objectives. So by the end of this chapter, that is what you need to have understood at the end of it all. So the topic is energy changes in physical and chemical processes. You remember again in form one, the second topic, which was simple classification of substances. We talked about temporally and permanent changes. So temporally changes, you see that those are the changes which do not lead to formation of new substances. While the permanent changes are those changes which involves the formation of new substances. A good example in physical changes we give the example of solid works. That when you hit solid works, this solid works now turns to a liquid. When you cool this liquid, then you'll get back the solid works. Another example is heating zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is white in color. So when you heat zinc oxide, the color of zinc oxide will change from white to yellow. And when you cool this yellow hot zinc oxide, you'll get back the white zinc oxide. Those are examples of temporary, uh, temporary changes, which are also called physical changes. So in permanent changes, give the example of heating copper 2 nitrate. Copper 2 nitrate is blue in color. So when you heat the blue copper 2 nitrate, it leads to formation of copper 2 oxide, nitrogen 4 oxide gas, and oxygen gas. So these two gases will escape into the atmosphere. So you cannot now get back the original copper 2 nitrate. Those are some of the things now you need to remember as we go through this topic, energy changes in physical and chemical processes. I give you two examples of physical processes.
which were the candle wax, that one of the candle wax, and also the zinc oxide. Then in permanent changes, which is also called the chemical processes, that I've given you the example of copper two nitrate. So those are some of the things you need to remember as we go through this topic because they will be of great importance in this topic. Just to do a recap of these chapter objectives, by the end of the chapter, you, the learner, should be able to, one, define endothermic and exothermic reactions. Number two, you should be able to draw energy level and energy cycle diagrams. Number three, you should be able to explain fusion and vaporization in terms of interparticle forces. Number four, you should be able to explain energy changes in chemical reactions due to bond breaking and bond formation. Number five, you should be able to define and explain the various types of heat changes. Number six, you should be able to carry out experiments to determine the enthalpy changes for some reactions. Number seven, you should be able to write simple, correct thermochemical equations. Number eight, you should be able to state Hess law and carry out related calculations. Number nine, you should be able to state and explain the various factors that influence the choice of a fuel. And the last one, you should be able to explain the environmental effects of fuels. So those are objectives you need to have so that by the end of this chapter, then you will have achieved what is expected. So that is the end of our lesson. I have been your teacher, Mr. Mwaniki Nyaga. Then in our next lesson, we will be defining some important terms like energy, physical processes, and chemical processes. Thank you so much.